Hey guys, what's up? This is the noob next door, and today I'm going to be showing you a tutorial in PKSV on how to do exactly what you're about to see, right? So I'm gonna leave this room real quick. Go back in. Back in. In. Bam. Character swap. Now I can't leave the area as this sprite. If I try to leave, it'll glitch out. But if I walk back in the same spot, it'll send me back to my old character and then I could leave. So, the the only thing about it is when you're switching back, it looks kind of glitchy. But it's the best I've got on PKSB on anything really. And it took me a while to figure it out. And now I'm going to show you guys. So I'm going to exit that. And I have two, I already have the script written now too, so that'll be easy. So what you need is four, depending on your area, normally four script boxes. You're going to need three to, crap. Hold on. No. Alright, you're going to need three to surround this area which is your entrance area when you walk into the map you're gonna be like stuck right here if you go in any way it will be the script trigger that will trigger this sprite which you will be switching into to disappear right and then your fourth one will go on top of him um, so let's get into the scripting okay so first we're gonna go over these three at the entrance you're going to want to start the script off like any other with the dynamic offset in the hashtag org. You're going to put lock all. Uh, next line, check flag. And then you're going to have a flag here. That will be the flag of this script. But you have to check it on this one. To make sure that when you walk on this area. Well, you don't have to do this. But if you walk on this area, it will glitch out if you do not have this. So check flag that, whatever your flag will be, just make sure it's an unused flag. And then if 0x1, go to colon end, and then disappear, and now go to your advanced map, and click on the sprite that you want to play as, and check right here for their person event number. And this one happens to be 4, so my script says disappear space 4. That I'm gonna set flag and do not make it this flag. Make it a different flag right there. Set it. Then put a colon end that will be a uh, string from here, I guess you could call it. And then release all end. And then that's pretty much it for this one. Compile it, which I've already done, and add it to each of these three squares. And then when you add it to these squares, you will put it in this area, which you probably know. But you also need to add a var number. It could be any unused var number and you do not have to use the set var command. Yes, make sure you have an unused var number in the var number box. Alright, back to the, now we're going to go over this script tile. So what you're going to want to do here is check flag. And you're going to want to check the same one you checked on the first script. And then if whatever go to, if 0x1 go to at, and then I put next. And it will be down here what's next. And then you're going to want to put lock all. And then you're going to want to, this makes it, um, when you fade the screen like this, it makes everything load. Like to where you want it to be. So you want to do fade screen, and then fade out underscore black. Disappear player reappear for clear flag and then you put your flag that you set on the first script and then you want to set the flag that is up here you want to set it now now is where it will be set fade screen again and then instead of fade out underscore black fade in underscore black and then release all end and that will pretty much make it so that since he will be gone from this command when you walk on this block you will become that sprite. Your character will disappear and his will reappear. So, now we're going to go down to the 
the hashtag org at next uh, box area. You're gonna wanna do lock all again, fade screen, fade out black, yes, like right here, clear flag, and you're gonna wanna clear the flag from the very top. And then you're gonna wanna disappear for, which is right here, it says reappear for, you wanna disappear for, and so he will go away. Set the same flag from the first script, which is also being cleared right here. And then the last thing you gotta do, which is the reason it looks kind of glitchy like I showed you at the beginning, is a warp command, because I seriously cannot figure out any other way to make it switch back to your character every time. I would do it without the warp command, I would be spawning on the barrier black area, and I could not move or do anything. So it may look weird, but it is your best shot, and it looks not that bad in my opinion. It's just a quick flash and the warp sound, but it's, it's whatever, it's the best we got, and I think that if you're playing the game it wouldn't really bother you you might be like whoa that was weird but it does not affect the gameplay so pretty much your command I'm gonna go over the warp command in general warp okay and now you wanna check on advan advanced map your right there those two numbers that's your map bank and your actual map number and those are the first two since mine is 4-2 I put warp 0x4 space 0x2 and then this one is the same for no matter where you are, space, and then write the word player. And then you're going to want to hover your mouse over the area with the script. And it will say at the bottom left down here, look down there when I do this, it'll show you your X and Y coordinates in the very bottom left corner. And mine is 0, 3, 0, 4. Now go back here see I put 0x3 and 0x4 for my xy coordinates and then you could release all and end your script and then you compile that and you paste it over your sprite on that script tile and that should be everything and this is um so let's I'll, I'll test it out right now all right let me get there I put this Pokemon Center in Pallet Town. Alright, so I enter the Pokemon Center and you might want to move your sprite as you can see mine's right there. You might want to move it out of the visible area, most likely in a narrow passageway that is unavoidable, so you're a force to switch. And um So, right there, it's that's the disappear command on the first block. Okay, now where he was standing was one space in front of me. I go there. And now I am playing as his sprite, as we saw earlier. And now, to order to switch back, I have to go back to the same spot, and it will do that weird flash. Yes, the it's just the warp command. You can see, it warped me back into this room, and I could do it again, and again, and again, and um, you cannot leave through a warp as as this sprite it will glitch out if I try to enter the warp I'm not even gonna do it but yes don't enter a warp square even because usually as a normal player I'll show you right now as a normal player you could run back and forth right here but when you go to this character if you even so much as step on the warp tile oh wait yeah see if you step on the warp tile and you're facing the wrong direction or something I think it will do this and now I am stuck but yeah that is pretty much it guys um if you have any questions put them in the comments subscribe uh, like this video and I hope I helped and yeah that is switching sprites um later dad <laughs> almost said dudes later guys